So a very commonly stated problem is that fiber mesh tape cracks very easily. And that's true. I've been mudding and taping and repairing drywall now for 19 years. And every time that I come on a job on existing walls where there's a crack, I can guess nine times out of 10 that that's fiber mesh tape behind that crack. And I'll dig out the crack and that's what I'll find. I'll find fiber, fiber mesh tape. And uh, paper tape doesn't have that problem. Okay, so I have get a lot of comments in my comment sections where people will tell me, no, fiber tape is stronger. And the reason that they'll give is because you can't, you can't rip it, see? And they'll say, well, paper tape, look, you can rip it. Okay, so here's the thing. Never, never ever, unless there's an earthquake, will paper tape ever be subjected to the kind of stress that causes a scissor rip. So that, that's a non-issue. It's not even a reason to compare the two. Um, I'm going to make this video short and just get to the point is that the reason why paper tape is so much stronger than mesh to prevent cracks is because it's very rigid. See, you can't pull it in any direction. And when cracks happen, it's from being tugged from the side when uh, stress on a building is happening and the drywall sheets are trying to separate and they're trying to pull on the drywall tape. And you see that's very, very rigid. Now, let's look at the fiber tape. Fiber tape, it warps, see? It has absolutely no rigidity whatsoever. And that's why it'll just shred and it'll just, it'll produce a crack. And that's, re so you can't actually do that. You can't actually tear it, but it has absolutely no rigidity whatsoever. It'll just shred apart in any kind of like pulling stress. <clears throat> that's why fiber tape produces cracks. Paper tape doesn't. Okay, so there is a way to use fiber tape and not get cracks. And that's right there. That's a setting compound. And if you embed the fiber tape in the setting compound, it'll greatly reduce the chances of a crack. Why? Is because the setting compound, unlike traditional drywall compounds that, that dry naturally, this, well, this does dry naturally too, but it chemically sets. This one chemically sets in 90 minutes. And it's a very, very hard plaster. It's, it's, it transfers its hardness, its rigidity to the tape. And if you embed your fiber tape with a setting compound, then it has less propensity to, to do this and shred apart in any kind of a building movement situation. Um, in my experience, I still find that the paper drywall tape, uh, just the paper tape, embedded with an all-purpose or a formulated taping drywall compound is still superior to a fiber tape even if it's embedded with the setting compound. So I I highly recommend that if you I highly recommend that you use a paper tape embedded with an all-purpose uh, compound versus the fiber tape. I, I would never use fiber tape in my profession um, actually a lot of builders don't even allow it on their jobs. If they found out that I taped a house with fiber tape, I'd be chased out of town. Um, the only place that I would ever use fiber tape is just on non-structural, uh, repairs. That's would be maybe a little small little patch that's in the center of the drywall, not on a joint. And if you doing a patch on the center of the drywall, it's not going to be subjected to any stress because the drywall sheet itself will move around and the, and the little hole that you patch with the fiber tape will move with the sheet if there's a little bit of building movement. If you use this on an actual drywall joint, it'll just shred it. It'll just move it and, 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 and a crack will, will happen. So that's my take. That's the reason why the fiber tape cracks is just because it has absolutely no rigidity whatsoever. It, it'll just warp, it'll bend. Uh, yeah. So like I said, short video, just wanted to explain to, wanted to address some comments that I got. 
where people were trying to say that this is stronger. It is not. I've been doing this for 19 years. I've seen it over and over and over and over again that this produces cracks. Uh, the paper tape doesn't. So if you, uh, if you found this video helpful, kind of just clearing up an issue about the two types of tapes, um, yeah, hit a like, hit the like button and uh, consider subscribing. Okay, thanks for watching.